Today we are talking about weight tickets. Uh, some people will call them scale tickets. Uh, way stations are commonly reserved for these uh, DOT uh, way stations on the side of the road, you know, where they have off ramps and, you know, little buildings uh, for uh, weighing the trucks and uh, checking uh, the drivers and uh, trucks. Uh, but scale ticket or a weight ticket is uh, what you get usually at a truck stop. Uh, most big truck stops uh, have weight, uh, st uh, weight scales and there are also some of these uh, smaller ones, uh, like sometimes in, in small parts of the towns where they have a lot of, uh, uh, you know, industrial things going on, especially on the East Coast. Sometimes they have these off-grid um, uh, scales and then even some companies have them who uh, work uh, uh, with a lot of trucks and then, you know, who, who work usually with uh, heavy loads and uh, some kind of... Uh, you know, uh, scrap materials, uh, uh, something that's shipped by the pound, and then they they have them on site too. Uh, but usually drivers would go to a truck stop to uh, get their weight. And then also usually the, the most popular uh, weight scales in the United States of America are uh, these so-called uh, CAT scales, uh, uh, C-A-T. They have yellow background, you know, with black letters, and they have this uh, uh, CAT a uh, picture like the uh, head of a cat there and that's how you can recognize them uh, and then what they do is uh, they uh, check the weight of the not just the truck uh, but the the gross uh, vehicle weight means uh, the load that's inside the truck the truck itself the driver fuel you know the the combined thing together um, you have to do this for various reasons and usually uh, it's uh, uh, legal uh, reasons because um, I'm working with 53-foot uh, semi-trucks and um, these combination of uh, uh, semi-truck uh, and trailer, um, they are usually uh, rated to uh, be the heaviest weight can be 80,000 pounds and that's combined everything together. Now we have you know, different trailers, different combinations, uh, different loads. Uh, that requires special permits, but usually in uh, in most states, in United States, uh, is uh, eighty thousand pounds combined, and then you are not legal if uh, the the weight on that uh, semi truck is uh, one even one pound over. Uh, you're not legal. You can get placed out of service. Uh, you can get a ticket, um, etc. It can be a really a uh, pain. Uh, to deal with that if you're too late and they pull you over on those DOT weight stations on the side of the road and they notice you're late, um, you're um, too heavy and, uh, uh, you know, you have to get another truck and, you know, with some help or even a, a forklift then they have to offload. That's a really expensive and a hassle. Plus, you get a, a ticket and points too um, on your score, not on your license, but on your score. Usually, you don't get points. The driver does not get points if they're overweight uh, on a weight scale, uh, because that that's not um, a traffic uh, citation, okay? So, uh, also, uh, some companies, like we said, sell uh, their products by uh, the weight, by the pound, and the more they ship, the more they get paid, so they have to uh, keep track of the weight. So, what the driver usually does, if they have a, a, a scale on site in that company, uh, the driver has to uh, and I'm going to uh, try to put some pictures in the background so you can see what this looks like. But the driver brings the whole uh, truck uh, with all the access. All, all wheels have to be on the platform and usually it's built uh, into the ground, like whether it's on concrete or asphalt. And they have these uh, pads um, uh, that, uh, you know, are supported, for, you know, inside the ground, you know, with springs and, and such. And they have uh, ways to... Um, you know, measure just like a regular scale with, that you uh, step on, uh, the truck will slowly uh, roll onto these pads and then um, inside the, the building or outside, you know, you can sometimes see, the driver can see the display uh, by themselves and then see how heavy uh, they are. And then, um, like if, if you're doing a load uh, that's uh, 44,000 pounds, uh, of something, you know, like scrap material, and they get paid uh, by uh, the pound, uh, 
so the driver when, when the driver comes in to pick up the load they would drive empty onto that scale and the scale uh, master will get the ticket and their weight and then let's say the weight of the truck is maybe 33,000 pounds uh, that's that's a empty truck uh, with fuel in tanks because the fuel you know can be heavy too because there's a lot of fuel in in, in these big trucks and then uh, your weight as a driver and that's all uh, on this ticket so everything combined uh, let's say weighs 33,000 pounds so the driver goes to load and now they're loaded and they go come back onto the scale and now they're uh, loading uh, heavy okay that's what they call it heavy uh, means loaded and now uh, let's say the weight is 77,000 pounds of the whole thing together so you just uh, deduct one from uh, the other uh, you deduct uh, 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 empty weight from the heavy weight and then that's how you get uh, the weight of the load so now we know that uh, the load is 44,000 uh, pounds um, on this truck and then uh, once the driver um, comes to the you know receiver or they can do it right right there right away um, they issue them a bill of lading and it says that uh, the the load uh, is weighing 44,000 pounds and now they know what to bill um, that customer uh, for that much uh, for that many uh, pounds uh, so that's one thing another thing like we said is a legality leg legality and that's a, a, a bigger reason uh, why people get uh, tickets because usually uh, not a lot of companies require these scale tickets so when you, if you're a dispatcher and uh, they tell you uh, you need uh, a heavy you need empty and heavy weight or loaded weight whatever they call it uh, that means that uh, this load is going to be a hassle because the driver uh, before they go uh, if if the and they say this for a reason like if the company where the driver is picking up uh, has a, a, a weight uh, scale on, on the side or where the, where the driver is delivering they can check it there too uh, but it would be the other way around like they come in heavy uh, with the load they get the weight and once they're empty they go back to the scale and then get the empty weight and then they do s the same thing um, but usually if if there is a scale on site then the broker will not ask you for these empty and, and heavy uh, scale tickets uh, usually uh, that's the case when they don't ha have these uh, scales at the site okay so you're picking up somewhere and they don't have scales over there so the driver before they go to the pickup uh, he or she has to go to uh, you know nearby scale station just find one at a truck stop because most uh, big truck stops have them and you know get their uh, empty weight and uh, you know when they go to the pickup they uh, s present them with that scale ticket and then once they're loaded then they have to go again uh, to um, um, the scale to the same usually the same uh, scale uh, and get the heavy weight and now they have these two one empty one on heavy and then when they come to delivery they would present them both to uh, the receiver or maybe the broker will even require it so they would take a picture and send it to you so you can send it to the broker as a proof um, to to that you uh, uh, got the correct weight of the load uh, now several things here uh, first thing the driver has to lose time look for a, a truck stop go out of the way uh, to you know usually it's not on the way to the pickup uh, or delivery so uh, make extra miles lose extra time uh, look for that uh, pay for the tickets um, you, you know they keep going up like eight uh, ten twelve dollars um, pay both times well for a reweight uh, like they would consider the second one reweight uh, because sometimes when drivers um, are too heavy like they go to a way station and uh, uh, they're too heavy on one of the axles and I'll explain that too then um, uh, they would pay for the ticket uh, and then go back and then adjust their uh, move their axles or the fifth wheel on the on the tractor and then they would go do a reway so when they check in when they call them in uh, on, on you know they have usually uh, buttons and speakers when they call them in and tell them hey uh, this is a reway and they gave the give them a code off of that scale ticket that they gave them in the first place and they would get charged less way less for the reway so you, they can use that you know pay uh, the second time for weighing as a reway if they're going to the same uh, way station and uh, so that that's another thing you know you have to pay for them and uh, 
usually uh, drivers don't like this and you know I don't like them either these loads uh, but that's what it is now when you uh, uh, when I mentioned uh, axles and I have this in one of my other videos that, um, I'm gonna try to link to it in this video uh, that explains the weight and the limits but you know usually uh, these uh, scales have uh, pads because they have different pads like three pads usually sometimes they have more uh, but one pad would uh, measure the, the steer axle and that's the, the front axle, you know, with the wheels like when they turn, you know, when you turn your steering wheel, that those are the, the front wheels, that's, um, they call it uh, steers. And then you have drives and those are the ones in the back, like the double tandems on the back of the tractor right there behind where the driver sits. They have a different pad for that. And then they have a different pad for the trail or the, for the wheels are way back, the tandem way in the back on the trail. So three pads and each of this pad uh, measures the weight for each axle. And then it also combines them all together. So, so these scales would give you uh, weights uh, for each uh, set of axles, I should say, because the, the, usually the tandems are, are measured together. Okay, uh, so some way stations, they, have, they split them because you can't, you know, there is a certain way to, uh, for both of these axles, but usually they go by tandem. Like, so the tandem, that, that, that's the, what they usually do. Uh, so steer, uh, steering uh, wheels are one tandem, and then uh, in the back of the tractor, you have uh, two of these axles, you know, like you see, like two wheels behind each other. That's two axles, but they call it one tandem, you know, it's, it's together. And th those tandems have certain uh, a limit that, you know, uh, you cannot go over when you're on the road and same uh, with the trailer okay so the front axle is 12,000 pounds uh, the steering one uh, the the tandem on your truck the drives uh, is uh, 34 max and on a trailer is 34 max and all this together combined gives you uh, 80,000 pounds uh, so you cannot be over uh, overweight on these um, axles and some states even have uh, measure, measurements uh, like the, the back tandem on the trailer uh, cannot be uh, more or less than certain length uh, away from the fifth wheel on the tractor. I know it's a lot, you know, if you don't know a lot about trucks, then, you know, you, you don't have to. Uh, the drivers are the ones who have to deal with it on the road. Uh, but yeah, they, they have a lot of rules about that. Uh, here in Michigan too, uh, in Michigan is very strict in some other states like Maryland, uh, California, uh, about the length, like the the length between the, the tandems on the trailer and, and the fifth wheel on the tractor. And the fifth wheel is the, you know, like the little, well, a big pin uh, that's uh, on the trailer and then it attaches uh, to, to the uh, truck and it holds the trio from pulling away uh, from the tractor, okay? And that's the fifth wheel, that, that thing that you see, uh, like if, if you see a truck without a trail, they have that uh, like a round, like a saddle in the back, and that they call it fifth wheel, okay? So from the center of that fifth wheel, like where that pin is on the trailer, they have a certain measurement to the back of the tandem. Sometimes it's uh, middle of the tandem in the back between those two wheels sometimes it's like the the uh, most uh, the one on the, in the back the axle like the middle of the axle all, all kinds of rules that you know it's really hard to follow uh, if you're not a driver okay so you don't have to mess with that but i'm just telling you about the rules uh, for the scale and the scale ticket uh, when they issue the driver the scale ticket then they will the scale ticket will uh, include the weights for each axle the combined weight uh, the place, the city, and, and state, uh, the address, the name of the truck stop, the time. Uh, so the, that, that's a, not a legal document, but it's like it can be used as a proof that you the driver was some place at, at certain place. You know, back in the day when we did, when he had the paper logs, um, people would you know get creative with their paper logs. You know, like the times they would. Because they they could change it, and then with these these scale tickets, and when you get a scale ticket, uh, they would have to uh, somehow hide the times if they were, you know, trying to put a different time on the logbook. Because if they get pulled over, something happens, um, the the DOT can see um, on on that scale ticket your times when when you were at the scale station, you know. Uh, but nowadays we have ELDs, and it's uh, practically um, not. You know, no one is practically able to cheat. Uh, 
I'm sure there are companies who, who are drivers who do that. You know, they get creative in other ways. Uh, but, you know, I, I don't tolerate that. I never actually tolerated it either, even with paper locks. Um, but especially now, it's just, but I'm just saying that uh, um, these skill tickets um, in, in the past, uh, people would sometimes hide them and throw them away or <laughs> whatever. Uh, but anyway, that's a, a skill ticket for you. And then uh, I hope uh, that you will like this video and subscribe to the channel and come back for more. I'll see you around.